Hello and welcome to the Everloom. It looms over. Something looms over us, the black wind. Forever and ever, the Everloom. All right, I will speak to Fats, the man who got your signet lost, evil rich person. Fats McGruff. Rump, monsters and madness, what? I've never been a man to complain, but if this is a dream, why can't I wake up, hmm? Something has shifted in the way things usually work. It's all very mysterious. I've been trying to figure it out, but the switch for this gate is up on those cliffs, and I'm much too fat to go climbing up to it. Can't appreciate a solid adventure as long as it doesn't require exercise. <laughs> well, anyway, I've decided to give up. You should take this string I found. I was going to be clever and braid it up for climbing, but maybe you'll find some better use for it. A string? Alright, thank you. Thank you, uh, Fats McGruff. I will, uh, still not speak to that witch thinks. I don't trust her look. She looks kind of like a witch. And anyway, she's made signets be lost, daughters get lost, disappear, that is. Don't want to mess with her right now until I've... I need to level up first, right? Is this a role-playing game? Is that Izzy? I can see you, Izzy. How is that possible? Isabel, okay. Okay, her name's Isabel. Not Izzy. I'd say, I think she's Izzy, though, right, Izzy? You're easy, right, Isabel, right? The water is so clear. And look, there's nothing down below those cliffs. I think this whole island is floating. I feel so free here, with the wind blowing and nothing but sky in all directions. It's like this dream I used to have when I was younger. I'll be flying up in the clouds with a great bunch of balloons tied to my waist. None of this is real, right? feel like I could fly away if I jumped, but I'm just too afraid to try. Isabel, are you, are you the Izzy I'm supposed to collect some kind of memento from? I can't speak, but um, you're, so you're just going to have to figure out that Cadmus wants um, something from you. He wants to see that you are still alive and visible by at least someone out there. I'm still looking over your cliff, wondering whether you can... What would happen if you jumped? By the way, don't. Okay. I, I was trained to tell people not to jump whenever they are contemplating it. All right. Usually when someone says they want to jump, it's best that they would not. So don't jump, Isabel. All right. Bill, on the other hand... Jump, Bill! Jump off the waterfall. Why not? Oh, come on. Where's the jump button? Oh, dear. Oh dear, what on earth? Spinning eyeball? You make me sick. I hate eyeballs that spin around. But I'm gonna talk. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's. Hey, we're gonna have so much fun, Bill. I'm gonna make you run past that. It's gonna be hilarious when you burn to death. Revealing I. I am the Watcher. I see all things. I see this world disintegrating. I see black voids where there should be earth and sky. I see a black end coming. Failure. Grief. I see. I see. Dot, dot, dot. I am the Watcher. Well, what do you see? You see you are the Watcher. Oh, I, I can see that. I just want... All right, you are the watcher. You see all... The, yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. You, What do you see, huh? Anything else? Man, I've heard everything... Every bit of what you said I've heard from everyone else in this entire game, all right? Say something I don't already know, would ya? Should I be killing these water cacti? I just feel bad about it. Especially when there's no quest telling me that I should. You know, I mean, what if I cut them all down and then 
and then the whole world comes crashing down into the whatever's below it, you know? Like Isabel said. What, what if that happens? I don't want that to happen, okay? I don't want to figure out at least what's going on here before the whole world starts falling into whatever's down there. I want to know what's down there first, right? Hello, ice cream man. I need your ice cream to calm a poor toad's stomach. Hey, hey, step right up. I got all the ice creams you'll ever need. What? Yo, buddy. It is a perfectly gentleman place to park a truck, so shut up. How'd you get up there anyway? Been trying to leave forever. Well, damn, just driving along, and bam, I'm in this crazy place. No one's got any money, too. That Lazarus fella wants me to scram, but I just... I can't just leave my stuff melting in the sun. Got clothes to make. What's got to do, eh? I'm a business guy, right? I tell you, look for oh my gosh, why did I just skip through that? Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back here, right? I damn it, blah 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 blah. Got clothes to make. What's a guy do, eh? I'm a business guy, right? I tells him, look, fancy pants, you gets me the money for my cargo, we'll go wherever you like. Where I come from, people are always hassling. You just gotta stare them down, especially the cheap ones. Anyway, it's not like I can get anywhere from here. Know what I'm a saying? If I can get me some customers, that airship lady says she can get me out, but yeah, like I says, no one's buying nothing, and I don't have nothing to pay her with. I man integrity, no. I don't go taking no free rides. Um, integrity, really? I, I should be thinking otherwise. All right, so we need to find some money for him. Just good old-fashioned moolah. We need to get some clams. You need to get back on the surface and dig up some clams and give them to him. Because everyone loves clams back where he's from. Where are they call it where he's from anyway? You can probably tell it from the accent, but I don't know. Uh, I'm not... Oh my gosh, it's the airship. Hey, that's... Hey, that's Martha's airship, I think, right? That's totally Martha's airship. Oh my gosh, I'm in... Oh my goodness. What? Did I die? I just died. Sorry, Bill. I think you just died. I'm so sorry, man, about the death that just happened. I didn't know it was possible, though. Wow. Or did, I, or did we just teleport? Did we just teleport? Nope, you died. <laughs> yep, he died. That's embarrassing. But he jumped off into oblivion. I mean, I try, I've been trying to do that for the longest time. Finally, it worked. I can't believe it. How about... How did that even happen? What? Come on, Bill. Do it again. Don't be a wuss. Go jump out in oblivion, man. Come on. How did you even do that, huh? That was awesome. Do it again, please. No? Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to rewatch this episode and figure out how you... Figure out how you did that, Bill. That's awesome, man. Draco. Hey, have you got some string? You want me to tie some tethers for you? It's my speciality, you know. I was the only one who was able to make a proper harness for the water cacti. We'd have been stranded here forever, otherwise. You'd think that would want a thank you, but no. Thirteen tether? Oh, yeah! We're so gonna get these water cacti now. I'm so glad I didn't kill them all just for no reason. That's amazing. Man! Conserving the earth so that you can get some tethers so that you can go and exploit the earth. It's great. It's great. Well, let's go. We're gonna do it in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. Goodbye.